Hi, this is Jeff Heaton. Well, this is a quick video just to talk about some new technologies that NVIDIA has made me aware of. These are all related to deep learning, some new hardware, some new software. And I want to give you a quick rundown of these new technologies, particularly the ones that I am interested in. Now, let me know in the comments and like the comments of others below which technologies you're the most interested in that I can do videos on in the near future. We've got this new Titan RTX machine, so some of these technologies should be really fun to play with. Now these are all related to automatic speech recognition and natural language processing and these kind of things, so let's have a look. So I'm going to divide these technologies into sections. We're going to start with automatic speech recognition and look at two packages that NVIDIA makes available, namely MatchboxNet and QuartzNet. We'll start with QuartzNet. So QuartzNet is a automatic speech recognition system. Now what ASR, automatic speech recognition, is, is essentially, there's several definitions of it, like most machine learning topics, but essentially it's an end-to-end -end system that allows several things in speech recognition that were normally separate systems to be in one complete deep learning model. QuartzNet is a PyTorch implementation of Jasper, which is an ASR system that basically allows the the program to be able to recognize certain commands. So ASR is really very conversational. It's how you interact with other human beings. You tell somebody to do something and hopefully they do it, so long as they understand. So ASR allows you to recognize these commands using QuartzNet. Now QuartzNet has considerably fewer parameters than Jasper, so that means it can run on much less hardware and it's just less demanding on the system resources. I've seen YouTube videos showing Jasper used in things like Raspberry Pis and other things, so this QuartzNet should apply this to more edge computing type applications. MatchboxNet is a related project as well that also does ASR. MatchboxNet, at least the way I understand it, is particularly good for recognizing a command that sort of starts another series of commands being recognized. Think of Hey Siri. This is also, this is not a speech recognition library that I have played with yet. I've used Jasper a bit, but this is definitely something that I am interested in looking at in the future. If you'd like to see anything on Matchbox or QuartzNet, let me know in the comments. These are very interesting technologies. So now let's get into natural language understanding. This is more than just natural language processing. Heck, any regex expression these days is pretty much rebranded as natural language processing. There's no understanding. Natural language understanding, this really kind of started with, I think, BERT, which was great, but just had a massive number of parameters. And what we're looking at here is Megatron, which is NVIDIA's offering that runs a BERT-like neural network, a transformer that gets really good state-of-the-art performance, and they demonstrate it here running on an NVIDIA A100. This is the new enterprise-level GPU card from NVIDIA, sort of along the lines of the V100. Currently only available that I know of on Google Cloud, so this is something I'll probably be looking at. I'm quite curious about the A100s and seeing what they really Really offer. Transformers are definitely something that I have been getting more into and plan on including in the course just because this is really where RNNs are going. Transformers allow, they're a lot like the RNN in that they're trans, they're working on sequences so they're great for natural language processing because you can send in the, the word sequences or character level or however you're doing that. However, unlike the LSTMs and RNNs, they don't have to be processed in order for that sequence. So that brings up massive 
of opportunities for parallelization, which is what the NVIDIA hardware offerings are best at. Megatron is one that I am particularly interested in this new batch of technologies and one that I will probably try to work with. I've worked with Bert and Albert and have found definite applications for those. So Transformers, you can train them to take in text, output really anything. They can translate languages, they can give responses, they you can even do multiple tasks. You can train the same model to do translation or other understanding tasks just by prefixing it with what you're expecting it to do. And what's great about a lot of these technologies from NVIDIA, like StyleGAN 2 that we use in class, StyleGAN 2 and Megatron LM, they are released right on GitHub. So you can get to the actual code you can also get to it through NGC, which is NVIDIA's platform for accessing a lot of these models that they're making available through transfer learning and just to download the actual model. And of course, being a child of the 80s, I just gotta love the name Megatron. Megatron is the biggest, most powerful of the Transformers, which were a race of robots that came to Earth for various reasons. So text-to-speech. This is not an area that I've done a great deal in. There's probably more information for you out there, but just to list the three technologies that NVIDIA is, is working on. WaveGlow, FastPitch, and Flowtron. WaveGlow is the one that I am looking at probably doing a video on just so you can see how you can use this sort of a model to input text and get the to get actual audio from it. WaveGlow is available through their GitHub repository and other location. They also have samples for it. Samples sound really very good. Let me go to a WaveGlow one. Have now come into general use and are obviously a great improvement on the ordinary... And if you haven't seen it, I suggest looking at I Am AI. It's truly amazing. It is... NVIDIA was able to, at the GTC 2020 keynote, to deliver a synthesized voice that's practically indistinguishable from a human. I am an explorer. Searching for the origins of our universe. Very amazing. I highly recommend you check out the rest of the video. And then finally, in the area of infrastructure, there's the new Ampere architecture, which is the A100 offering that's available on Google Cloud now. There is also available GPUs through Spark 3 on Google Cloud as well. These are all things that are very interesting to me. The NGC model repository is something that I have not worked with a great deal, but it looks to be a repository of all of these pre-trained models that NVIDIA is offering and definitely something to, to look at because you can access it right through the Python code. TensorRT is a SDK for high performance deep learning inference. This is another technology that I am... TensorRT is another technology in this area that I am quite interested in learning more about because it allows for very high performance inference of these deep learning models. Lots of technologies from NVIDIA to help you to deploy these deep learning models into production. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to let me know which of these technologies you find interesting and you might like to see videos from on this channel. I'm very interested in natural language processing and the one that looks the most interesting to me, I would say right now, is Megatron. I want to definitely do some videos related to that. So if this seems interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and let me know in the comments. Thank you very much.